G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. Now today we want to have a bit of a talk about kangaroos and wallabies. What's the difference? So stay tuned guys, we're talking about kangaroos. It's pretty dangerous. So, besides kangaroos and wallabies, there's about 60 different species that make up the family called macropods. Kangaroos and wallabies are the ones you guys will know about, but we've also got tree kangaroos and betongs and potaroos and all sorts of bouncing, hopping animals around the country. But kangaroos and wallabies are of course the ones that everybody knows about. Now the first difference is of course size. While wallabies are slightly smaller, kangaroos like this guy here in Eastern Grey can get up to 2 metres tall and 90 kilos in the case of like big red kangaroos. So while kangaroos are of course the bigger of the two, wallabies like this little redneck wallaby sort of grow to about a metre, maybe a little bit more, and max out about 24 kilos, so much smaller than a kangaroo. Another big difference is their teeth and their diet. You see kangaroos are really designed to eat grasses, and as a result they've got teeth specifically designed for eating and chewing up long stalks of grass. As far as teeth go, like I said, a kangaroo is designed for the chewing long grass and breaking it up, Whereas this little tacker here is really a browser. He picks the leaves and, and bits and pieces as he goes around. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. So his mole is especially designed for crunching and grinding that up rather than cutting through grass. So the biggest way of telling kangaroos from wallabies in my opinion is if you think of kangaroos like sheep and wallabies like goats. Kangaroos are really a grazing animal in big wide open plains and eating those long stalky grasses. Whereas wallabies on the other hand they're sort of like a goat. They go around and they're picking and browsing off bits and pieces. So, different ecological niches for different parts of Australia. Whether they're kangaroos or wallabies, the main thing is these guys are both iconic Australians. They're probably not cared for and well loved as much as they should be, but they're an absolute icon. So I think, you know, if you can do your little bit to, to help them out, you see one on the side of the road, please stop, have a look, bring a wildlife care. It's really easy stuff. But other than that, guys, Thanks for watching. If you do enjoy the video, as always, hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment, etc., etc. And uh, as always, guys, please be nice to wildlife. Have a good one and take care.